Okay, Miss Guy, here's going on YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are finally revealing, fully revealing the new Sundown Audio X15 version 3, V3. This is an unreleased product that I've had for a while now, and I've done a lot of different te teaser videos about it. But today we're gonna finally see this thing in action. So if you haven't been following the car audio side of things, I went down to North Carolina. I live in Kentucky, so about a five or six hour drive. I went down to the Sundown warehouse and did a tour of the warehouse and they gave me their new version of the X15 that's coming out later on, maybe this month or May. And they wanted me to do some product videos on it so you guys can get a first glance at it and see if it's something you want to purchase when it comes out. So I finally got my custom box built here and I'll put some pictures up on the screen of it. Um, I had my box built by Sonic Sounds, I think, no, SonicWaves.com, that's what it is, SonicWaves.com hooked me up with a box. They're down in Indiana. Great people and did a great job on this box. I will leave you guys a link down below in the description on this box and where I got it from so you can get one made for yourself. So this is a four cubic foot box. The speaker re recommends being about four cubic feet, maybe uh, 4.2 cubic feet, um, but it can handle a 50% larger enclosure if you want to dig deep. Um, but this is a four cubic foot box with plexiglass on the front with my YouTube logo and name in the glass there. And then I have a curved port. I wanted the curved port. I wanted no port noise whatsoever because my last box had a lot of it. This box has absolutely zero um, port noise. So that's really nice to see and to hear. I stained it with this kind of a, a bluish gray kind of stain on the front. I like the mixture of stain and wood. I don't like necessarily the paint just painting over wood. I like to have the wood characteristics still in the box. And then I spray painted the sides and the port white. Inside the box is a uh, spray painted white and then splatter painted um, some stain around the inside so it looks pretty cool there. And then inside of course you can see the motor structure, the magnet, all that stuff with the sun down. And then the plate does glow. They do put LEDs so that your glow illuminates. It's really cool. It's a really nice sounding box, solid construction built of birch wood and it cost me $350. I am absolutely happy with it and it sounds great. You guys are going to get a little taste of that today. So inside the enclosure is that Sundown X15 version 3, a 2000 watt RMS speaker. Now you guys know that Sundown highly conservatively rates their speaker. So it's rated at a conservative rating at 2000 watts RMS, but we know we can pump some serious power to this and it'll take it. I'm currently using a Cadence Sound QRS series 3000.1D amp. That's a $750 amp powering this speaker here. I don't know pricing just yet on this speaker. I'm sure it'll be close to the version two, um, but we'll get into more detail on this when I find out a few more specs with this. So without further ado, guys, I'm gonna play, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna play a small sample on the, the sub so you guys can see it moving, see what it does to the car, and I'll tell you how it sounds at the end of the video. I am gonna have to slow down the video to avoid copyright, I'm gonna play some copyrighted music. So I'm gonna slow down the songs. You may not recognize it, but you'll still get a good idea of this speaker in action. So at the end of that demo, I will tell you what I think about it, and uh, we'll go from there. I'll see you guys in the end of the video. Ridiculous. I'm gonna close the trunk, let you guys see what it really does. Check this mess out.
Right, guys so i had to redo this part of the video because the mic was too just too messed up to keep the video for the ending but let me tell you real quick about what i think about this speaker so you guys saw how crazy it was get the keys out of there i used to have two scar 12s in the car um they're the vxf so they're 1500 watts uh, rms a piece and those things are fantastic for what they are but then and usually well it is fact when you have two 12s you have more surface area than you do with 115 so you should be louder most of the time with 215s versus or excuse me 212s versus 115 but in this case this one has 500 more watts to it um and then it has a mega roll surround so it has a lot more excursion to it so it actually digs deeper than the bxfs do which i didn't think was possible <laughs> and then the box itself is, is a better box a better built box so your box is everything if your box is not built well your sound won't sound well your speaker won't perform well but for this it's a fantastic fantastic subwoofer um, my car has probably about 20 25 pounds of uh, dead mat in it some kill mat in it and the doors it's double layered too so there's two layers of kill mat on the trunk on the doors everything um, even in the on the wheel well um, I tried to keep it as, as quiet as I could I'm not the type of person who listens to it full tilt all the time but when I do I don't want to be a disturbance to the people around me I don't want to have my car rattling throughout Walmart and in the, the parking lots and around the city I don't want to be that guy um, so I tried to kill as much rattles as I could to keep the noise down on the outside of the car and there is zero rattles on the inside of the car too even at full tilt so that's nice um, but also it helps keep the energy in the car so when your car is doing a whole bunch of flexing you're actually losing SPL you're losing energy that energy is escaping your vehicle so you're hurting yourself when it comes to 
the SPL meter and you're hurting yourself when it comes to overall volume that you can get out of your, your sub. So with that being said, the X15 V3 is a monster subwoofer and I wish that I had a bigger, bigger vehicle because there's no doubt that I would run a second one. <laughs> but this thing is killer and I'm running all um, mostly stock electrical. I did the big three and then I have this battery here, the Optima yellow top. I have one under the, under the hood and then of course that one there in the trunk. But the alternator is just my stock 130 amp alternator. And I think eventually I'll go up to a 220 or 250, something like that. That's plenty enough for this car because I won't keep this car forever. This is this is the first car that I ever bought um, two years ago. So, but with that being said, guys, when this sub releases, you need to go get one. Whether it's the 12 inch version, the 15, I don't care. It's 18, whatever it is, you need to go look at this sub because this is sweet. I don't know pricing or anything just yet, um, but it's probably going to be priced pretty close to the uh, the XV2. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the sub. It's quality built. If you haven't seen some of my walk, walk around videos of the subwoofer before I put it in the box, please go watch those videos um, because this subwoofer is contending with a lot of others. And the build quality is there. The cooling, the pull piece, the, the uh, terminals, the spider, the tinsel leads, everything is quality built. Um, so I'm more than happy with this. And thank you so much to Sundown for allowing me to do some product videos for you guys before the release. That's pretty freaking cool, guys. So stay tuned for more videos like this. Leave me a comment down below for my car audio guys and tell me what subs are you using in your car or in your SUV, in your truck, whatever. What subs are you using and uh, how long have you had them? Have they been performing good? Is it time for an upgrade? Let me know all that down below in the comment section. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you in more videos like this. K-Pace guy out. Peace.